Restless guys work at Monitor Audio. Every four years they completely update their Silver Series. Today we will talk about the seventh generation of the most popular home cabinet speakers in the catalog. What has changed in comparison to the sixth generation? A fresh EISA winner page has been added in the nomination Best Floor Speakers 2021-2022. I'll tell you about the rest now. Hello everyone, this is Pult Electronics and I'm with you, Deco. The Silver Series is a core for Monitor Audio. It's a mainstream product line. Of course, in the company's catalog, you have incredible speakers of the Platinum 2 or Gold lines and relatively affordable bronze, along with numerous stylish and compact design solutions. But it's the Silver Series that many audiophiles prefer in terms of price and quality. And I can only say such an opinion is really plausible. However, the Silvers are also fashionable speakers. They are created for those who not only care about sound, but also about appearance and the effect of novelty. That is why the British roll out a new Silver series every four years. Moreover, with introducing changes at each generation, they somehow managed to introduce something so important and interesting that the owners of previous models sell them, just in order to buy the newer versions. It comes with the territory that those changes are not revolutionary. For instance, the cabinet dimensions, the driver layouts, and so on. That is, in terms of sound quality, the gap between the recent silver models and the more expensive gold generation has decreased, but not to such an extent where the owners of the golden family began to worry about anything. However, all those introduced changes are significant. It's just that some of those changes are meant to be hidden from our eyes. As before, the Silver series consists of three floor stand and two bookshelf models, as well as a wall-mounted surround speakers and a great powered subwoofer. The names of the models haven't changed either, compared to the last generation. However, there are some changes. Firstly, the speaker of the central channel in the line is now one. Structurally, it is similar to the previous model C350, that is three-way, but its main drivers aren't 15 but 13 centimeters in diameter, as in the previous version of the C150. Therefore, it received an intermediate name, C250. Secondly, the series was supplemented by a completely new model type, acoustic effects called AMS. These are speakers designed to be installed on top of the front speakers and Dolby Atmos systems, but also these modules can be used as wall-mounted or ceiling-mounted surround speakers. Curiously, despite the five available trim options for all other silver models, AMS are offered only in matte white and glossy black finishes. As for the other models, the flagship three-way Silver 500 towers with two 20cm bass drivers stand out among the floor ones. Such speakers are the winners of the EISA. Their more compact version of the Silver 300 boasts 15cm bass drivers. Both modules, as well as the central speaker, are equipped with a proprietary module with a 76mm mid-range and a dome tweeter. This arrangement allows you to physically isolate the drivers sensitive to external vibrations from the main volume to exclude the influence of bass drivers. Junior Silver 200 towers with two 13cm drivers work according to the 2.5 band scheme. This is when both drivers reproduce the bass, and the mid-range frequencies are only close to the tweeter. Shelf models are the large Silver 100 with a 20cm main driver and the more compact Silver 50 with a height of approximately 29cm, which are equipped with a 13cm driver. All speakers are still made from a proprietary C-CAM composite, a ceramic-coated magnesium and aluminum alloy. Now regarding the applicability of the models. Everything is more or less clear with the traditional Silver 50. As before, this is a perfect option for a stereo system in the bedroom, loft or office, where music sounds predominantly in the background. But the sturdy Silver 100 can become a saving straw for those audiophiles who don't have a place to put a pair of tower speakers. For them, a use of a subwoofer would be unacceptable. And they also want to get a correct deep bass with a strong punch. Hence, the new 100th bass could be of more interest than some compact floor standing models of other companies. The interaction with the amplifier hasn't changed at all. The new silvers still cannot boast of high sensitivity. 
and are still declared as 8 ohm, but with dips up to 3.9 ohms. In other words, to fully enjoy the new generation of silvers, you still need to be as considerate and thoughtful as before. You have to choose a proper amplifier and not try to save on this part. Both your speakers and your ears will thank you for that. When comparing the silver 500 models of the previous and new generation directly, you can see that the speakers are similar. However, structurally they differ very significantly. All the key technologies used in the 6th generation are also involved in the 7th, so almost all of them have been further developed. In particular, the tweeter updated itself and got a new waveguide. The mid-range speaker has become smaller, got a mini horn, and is now located even closer to the tweeter. According to the layout, the medium-high frequency block of silvers is conceptually now closer to the models of the more expensive gold line. The shape of the diffusers of the main drivers and aerodynamic dimples was also optimized after deeper computer modeling of physical processes, including the behavior of sound waves, and the technology itself was called RST2. Further, the new generation of silver speakers got strict cabinets without rounding at the joints of the side and front panels. The location of the inverter ports has also changed, which indicates a new internal structure. Finally, the design of the cantilever supports and the floor models has changed. However, only the design. The reliable design with mounting on two bolts and the possibility of installation both on soft legs as a whole remained the same. And this is logical. New silvers are offered in five trim options. These are three types of natural veneer, matte white paint and black piano lacquer. Keep in mind that only two options are available for specialized AMS satellites, white matte and black gloss. Finally, the sound, last but not least in our list. It would be strange to expect a considerable increase in sound quality, if we consider that even the previous silvers gave out an expensive and extraordinary sound. However, the changes still are audible. Yes, the general nature of the seventh generation is really close to its predecessors. However, updating the emitters and crossovers, which I actually forgot to mention earlier, allowed the speakers to emphasize the nuances even more precisely and form an even more prominent soundstage. Thus, we can certainly claim that with the release of the seventh generation of silver acoustics, Monitor Audio has set a new standard for other companies and competitors in this price segment. However, I suggest you just listen to it yourself. You'll find all additional information and links below. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you soon.